Hello, second graders. It's Mrs. Belatesh here. I had such a lovely time being with you guys last week. In fact, everybody, give yourself a big hug and think about it coming from me because I just loved seeing you last week. I'm glad I was able to be with you. I want to do just a quick little review for you about rocks in use. And there's this little sheet here. And if you want, you can get it. You don't have to. Let's see. Does, does a brick wall have earth materials in it? Yes! Bricks are made out of clay and silt and sometimes sand. What about concrete steps? Do you remember the ones outside of Mrs. Jung's class? They're made out of earth materials. What about a plant pot? I showed you one. It's made out of clay. What about the blacktop on the playground? Yep, it's made out of earth materials. What about the sidewalk? Yes, the sidewalk is almost like the steps to Mrs. Jung's class. What about a metal trash can? Yes, it's made out of an iron ore. What about a plastic trash can? Nope, not made out of earth materials. There's also this page, which I would like you guys to do together with me. It says uses of earth materials, and it says circle the things that are made from earth materials. So the first one is a baseball bat, and it looks like it's made out of wood. Should we circle it? No, it's made out of a tree and it is not an earth material. The next one is brick. This guy is doing some brick. Is brick made out of earth material? Yes, so go ahead and circle that. What about a road? Yes, it's made out of earth materials. What about this fireplace? Yes. It is made out of earth materials. There are many, many things that we use every single day that are made out of earth materials. So we talked a lot about rocks, how rocks are broken through weathering. We talked about different sizes. We talked a lot about rocks. Now I want us to look closely at soil and see what is in soil. So boys and girls, I'm outside and I want to dig up some dirt and I want it to be real dirt. I don't want you to use soil or dirt from potting soil that you bought at the store. I want you to dig up some real dirt from the ground. So I'm moving my leaves out of the way and I am going to dig up just a little bit of dirt Maybe one more scoop. And now I want us to take a close look at what is in the dirt. Okay, I have my dirt that I dug up from outside and I have a piece of paper and I'm going to put my dirt on the paper because I want to be able to have a contrast between the dark dirt and the whitish paper. So I'm gonna take a scoop of the soil and I'm gonna put it right on top of the paper. Okay, here's my scoop of dirt. And I wanna look really closely to see what's in this dirt. Okay, well, so there's some leaves. I see some leaves in there from, from the trees, lost their leaves. This looks like a little seed. What else is in here? Well, I definitely see some sand grains and I can feel the sand when I touch this, this dirt and I move it around with my fingers. I can feel that there's sand and silt in it. So I see some like roots from plants that have died. A little bit of clay there maybe. It's sticky and it's a little wet, right? I can feel that there's a little wet. So it's got, definitely it's got a little bit of water in it. Oh, there's a piece of wood. Take a look at your soil. What do you see in your soil? So 
there are definitely rocks in the soil, but there's other things besides rocks. And the other things that are in the soil that are not rocks, they are organic matter. There's dead plants. So there's leaves and there's roots and there's little pieces of wood and bark. All of these things are dead plants. And it is, because it was once living, we say it is organic. And all of that organic matter that's in soil, we call it humus. Not hummus, which is one of my favorite little dips, but humus. Humus is all the organic matter in soil. And I'm wondering, why does soil have that in it? Is there something that humus, organic matter, does for the soil? So what I did is I got the soil and I put it into one, this little cup. You have one of these little cups and it has some holes at the bottom. So I put it in a little cup. I filled it up. I, I didn't pack it. I just filled it in and I left it like that. Then you guys also have a bag of sand. So you're gonna put some sand in the cup and then you're going to put it into a little bowl like this. It's because there's holes in the bottom, the sand will go out the bottom. So first put it in the bowl, then add the sand to the top. I also have some small pieces of gravel. So I added it here. So now I have soil, sand, and gravel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add one quarter cup of water to each container. And we're gonna see if something happens different to the soil than just the rocks. Let's see. The first one I'm gonna do is the gravel. And I'm gonna pour one quarter cup of water into the cup of gravel. And I'm gonna hold it up so you can see. Uh-oh. What happens to the water? The water seemed to go right through the gravel. I wonder why the water went right through the gravel. Any ideas? Here's a look at the gravel. Any ideas why the water went through the gravel? Well, I think it might have to do with the fact that there's a lot of space in between all of the rocks. And are rocks like a sponge? Do they absorb water? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna put this one aside. The next one is going to be the sand. I'm gonna add one quarter cup of water to the sand. Uh-oh, my the sand is going out of the bottom of my cup. Uh-oh, but what's happening? Water is also going out of the bottom of my cup. So, the same problem with the gravel, it happened with the sand. The water went through the spaces in between the sand. Okay, let's see what happens when we add water to the soil. Okay. Hey! Oh, I have a couple of drops of water. But with the gravel and the sand, the water went right through. My soil is now wet. My soil is kind of like a sponge. 
It absorbed the water. It's holding on to the water. And what do you think might need water in order to grow? Plants. So one of the reasons that soil needs to have organic matter is that the organic matter absorbs the water and keeps the, the, the soil moist so that plants can use it to grow. Please get out your science notebook and turn to the next page. So my last page was this one and I put the date at the top of my page and now I want to write a sentence about what is soil made out of. So what did we see when we looked at the soil on the paper? I'm going to write, soil is made of weathered rocks. And I put in parentheses, sand, silt, gravel, and organic materials. And I also put in parentheses, dead leaves, roots, bark, period. The organic matter is called humus, H-U-M-U-S, period. And then I wrote, humus acts like a sponge and absorbs water, period. This helps plants grow, period. All right, second graders, what a great job you did today. Today, we learned that soil is made out of weathered rocks, but it also contains a lot of organic materials, dead plants that help the soil act like a sponge and absorb water. Great job today. Everybody, give yourselves another big hug. I miss you so much. I'll see you next time, cougars.